and welcome to another tutorial with me Danielle. Um, today we are going to make a naked cake which basically just means we're going to butter ice um, the insides and we're just going to run a very very thin um, layer of butter icing around the cake but so you can see the sponge as well so it would be a very very thin layer and then we are going to top it with some sauce which will drip um, down the sides and some macarons as well so we'll get started with this tutorial so we're going to start off by just putting some buttercream which I've already made up on to our sponge and this is an 8 inch sponge I'm going to do it like so. I take our next um, sponge and we're just going to pop it onto the top. Just going to make sure it's even all the way around. And then we're just going to follow the same process. So we're just putting on our buttercream on. Normally you would do this for a cake anyway. And then we're going to do the top. So just to recap, as you can see we have three layers. So we put the bottom layer on and we secured that with a little bit of butter cream onto our board. We butter iced, second, and we just repeated the stage until we got to the top, which is our third layer. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our butter cream and we're just going to smooth it all the way around. Now I'm not really bothered if some of it doesn't um, actually go round because like I said this is a naked cake so that's all we're doing is just dragging our buttercream around the cake And we can go around again once it's all on and just give it a quick smooth out. And this is just um, a vanilla buttercream that I use which is um, 200 gra 225 grams of butter and 200 grams of icing and just a little bit of vanilla extract. And it does look a little bit messy at the moment, but don't worry, I'm going to go around and um, clear all that up in a minute.
So I'm just taking my pellet knife now and I'm just trying to, as you can see, take off as much of the excess as possible and that way I can actually then go around and check if I need to put any more icing on which I think I'll do a little bit So now I'm just going to put on the top. So we've done our base coat for our naked cake and we're just going to put a little bit of buttercream on the top just to finish it off a little bit. So you can put this on um, a turnstile just to um, get it all nice and even and easy because you can spin it. But for now I'm just going to use what I've got. Okay, so there's our cake all um, buttered iced up. And you can see why they call it a naked cake because it's kind of, it is kind of still naked. There's no icing or anything that goes on that. So we're going to put this to one side for now and we're going to carry on with the next step. What we're going to do is, in my little box, um, I went shopping today and I found that they do um, mirror glaze um, uh, stuff, so pour. So you, all you do is simply um, heat it up and pour it onto, um, and pour it. So we're going to give this a little go, we haven't used one of these before. Um, so. We'll put this on and it will dribble like it looks like on the actual cake. And then we're going to make some macaroons and we're going to put the macaroons onto the cake as well. So we hope you like this tutorial and let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell. You can also find us at Facebook and Instagram at Cake Decorating with Danielle. I'm just reading the instructions. You um, put it in a microwave for 30 seconds. Stir, put it in the microwave again for 30 seconds, stir until it basically um, to the consistency that you, that you want. So we're going to go ahead and get on with that and we'll show you the pouring of the cake in a minute. So before we put our um, mirror glaze into the microwave, I thought I'd just let, um, show you exactly what it looks like. And it, it looks, I don't know, it looks a bit like putty. So anyway, we're going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds and stir and follow the instructions and then we'll see what it's like when it comes out. And we're just going to pour a little on and I do say a little at a time. And now I'm just going to take my palette knife and I'm just going to start smoothing it out over the edges and hopefully it will drip down because we never know what happens when we do cakes, what they will do. So I'm just going to pour a bit more on because I feel like I might need a little bit more. And then it's just a question of running it around the cake. I 
and it looks like it's going to start dripping any moment but it's just a little bit of trial and error on how it's dripping and I don't want to force it drip force the drip it's just a question of being patient and just pushing it around and just having a little play really so here we have our uh, drips running down and I would say because I haven't actually used that before um, and I just thought I'd give it a try um, it is very um, it goes quite hard very quick and so you need to work very quick on it and maybe loosen it up a little bit more than what I did it's not as good as the mirrors that we've um, made in the past um, but it's you can see it's starting to get that lovely mirror glaze on it as well so um, yeah I'm pleased with it but it's uh, a little bit of trial and error so yes okay for our next step of our drip cake is to decorate it and here we have got an array of things so I have some uh, galaxy some Toblerones some M&M's some macaroons some strawberries and a bowl of cream so let's get started. So we're going to start with um, the galaxies and we're just going to cut them into, uh, into halves just to kind of like get them into a pointed shape. So I'm using my kind of big knife. I'm not really bothered if it breaks. And we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna get a little bit of, I've melted a bit of chocolate. So I'm just gonna melt, put that onto the chocolate just to get it to kind of like stand up. Like so. And then I'm just gonna do a little one. And we're just gonna play. We put it on any way that we want to. And I think I'll just put one like that. Just hold it into position a bit. And I've got some Toblerone as well. So I'm just going to quickly open this. And then again, I'm just going to use my knife so I'm just gonna like randomly just place a few randomly placing just a few bits of um, Toblerone round and then I will stick with chocolate I just want it to see what it looks like first like I said we're just playing so doesn't actually matter so now I'll put the chocolate and we're just using this is just normal melted chocolate that I'm actually using So I'm just randomly really putting them on. And uh, then I've got a few little M&Ms. I'm just going to dip these in the chocolate. And I'm just going to 
place them round. So I don't want to put a lot on. Like, like that I think and we've also got some strawberries and piping bags so I'm just going to fill up my piping bag for now um, I'm using a 6B nozzle it's kind of like a little flower nozzle so we've got a piping bag and I've just um, done some whipped up some double cream I'm just going to pop it into the bag and then we're just going to pipe a few strawberries around the top. I think that'll be enough for now, so I'm just going to pop that over there. If you don't feel confident doing your piping bags by um, hand filling them up, you can put them in a, 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 a cup or a, a tall glass. So I'm just going to get my, would have if I've got my strawberries, wouldn't it? I'm just going to get my strawberries. I'm, all I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Simple. And if I think it needs some more, then I'll put some more on. So I'm just going to pop that to one side and we're going to take our strawberries and I'm just going to place them. And the cream just helps to stick the strawberries on like so and then one more. So I think that's looking quite good for the strawberries um and so i'm just going to do the bottom of the cake now so with some of our strawberries i'm going to make kind of like a fan um st uh, style on the strawberries just so that we can stick oh, and it broke <laughs> very uh, thingy just so that we can stick them um, um, and it just gives it another definition to the uh, cake. So what I'm doing is I'm just that what I just did. Um, I'm just cutting the top of the strawberry and then I'm slicing but I'm not going all the way down. If I move my fingers, can be ca candid. And then I'm just taking the first little, I'm just going to slice a little bit off here actually. Because I want it to be flush on the, on the cake. And then I'm just making a fan like shape. And then what I'm going to do is, this one's actually split. which It doesn't matter if they split. I'm going to dip it in chocolate. And I've dipped the back as well. So then I can place that onto our cake. And then I'm just going to move the bits apart. And then I'm just going to do the same with this one as well. And then again with this one, I've just dipped the bottom and a little bit on the side. And I'm just going to place this again onto our cake. So I'm now just going to pipe some little blobs of cream. So we're just piping some of our cream 
that was left over on our cake. I'm just going to put a bit of up there. Ooh. And this just uses up our cream, really. So there's our piping all done. So I hope you like our drip cake with our chocolate, macaroons, strawberries and cream. Um, if you did like this tutorial, please subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking the button below. And don't forget, don't forget to click on the bell as well while you're there. You can also find us at, on Facebook and Instagram at Cake Decorating with Danielle. And I hope you liked this cake. Uh, it's a lovely, simple cake.